Welcome to CCN Midday News. I am your host, Captivating Krishna. Here are some of your top stories for today, May 11th. The U.S. just lost 20 million jobs. Lawmakers now face a break it or make it moment. Climate deniers and some conservatives are promoting a f- fraudulent claims that the death toll from the coronaviruses are being inflated. The Justice Department extraordinary decision to drop charges against Mike Flint stuns career prosecutors and legal experts. Armand Avery was killed in February. Why did the arrest take months? And some international news in Seoul the shutdown of all bars and nightclubs indefinitely after at least 25 new coronavirus infections were traced to a single nightlife district. And remembering the life of Little Richard, let's get to the news. As the nation confronts unemployment levels not seen since the Great Depression, Congress and the Trump administration must decide whether to continue spreading trillions in stimulus money or bet that states reopening will jumpstart the U.S. economy. A wrong move could turn temporary layoffs into permanent job loss. Economists, both liberal and conservative, warn that ending aid businesses and workers without a new strategy could result in partially recoveries, raising infection rates and insufficient support for businesses and the unemployed. The unemployment rate has soared to a 17.7%, hitting nearly every sector of the labor market. That means barely more than half the adult population of the U.S. now has a job. The toll has become a pivotal political indicator for President Trump. According to administration officials, he has begun privately questioning the government's models and official status. Uh, The dysfunction of the White House's pandemic response was laid out in a whistleblower's complaint filed this week by the former head of an agency in charge of the vaccines. More than 1.3 million people in the United States have been infected and at least 78,000 have died. A Times analyst found that nearly a third of those deaths were linked to long-term care homes for adults. After Mr. Flynn had already pleaded uh, guilty twice for lying to the FBI about his contacts with the Russian government, his allies have helped reorient the mistrust of some Republicans over his cooperation with law enforcement and painted him as an innocent victim of a justice system gone wrong. While on a call with ex aides former Vice President Barack Obama has said that by dropping the case, the Justice Department has uh, endangering the rule of law. President Trump has begun talking about rehiring Mr. Flint uh, in the Trump administration. The delayed arrest and charges, which came after a local lawyer released a graphic video of the fatal confrontation between Mr. Avery, who was black, and two white men were just the latest in a series of troubling episodes involving the Glenn County Police Department. We examined the Georgia Department's flawed pass. Black runners have long taken steps to avoid racially profiling and violence. After the shooting death of Mr. Avery, who was out running when he was killed many of their fears has taken on a new sense of urgency 
The Glen County Police Department arrived at the scene of the fatal shooting in February in the southeastern part of Georgia. Officers encountered a former colleague with the victim's blood on their hands. They took down his version of events and let him and his adult son, who had fired the shots, go home. Later that day, Wanda Cooper, the mother of the 25-year-old victim, Amon Avery, received a call from the police investigators. She recounted later that the investigator said that her son had been involved in a burglary and was killed by the homeowner, an inaccurate version of what had happened. More than two months after the fatal confrontation, the Georgia Bureau of Investigations took over the case this week, arresting the former officer, Gregory McMichaels, and his son, Travis McMichaels, on charges of murder and aggravated assault. The charges, which came after the release of the graphic video showing the killing as the two white men confronted Avery, who was an African-American, made clear the depths of the local department's hiding of this case and covering up, which was just at least in the series of troubling episodes involving the officers. The flashy wild man of rock and roll who drew his inspiration deeply from gospel and blues to create a thrilling, dangerous new sound died at the age of 87 on Saturday. His cause of death was bone cancer. The musician, whose real name was Richard Pennyman, otherwise known as Little Richard, was a rock and roller to say the least. Very flashy and somewhat flamboyant, many people would say. Um, Our prayers go out to his family. Um, Another great African-American musician, person of history, has been lost once again. So once again, our prayers go out to his family and to all of his fans who still listen to his music to this day. Once again, thank you for watching CCN Midday News. Hope you enjoy. Please like, share, and subscribe. Also hit that notification button so you will never miss another news update. Have a great day. Peace.